gang, it is Jen, your exclusive startup business coach. Make sure you're one, watching this video all the way to the end, two, subscribe to the channel, and three, hashtag pretty gang in the comments. So I want to come in and talk to you guys about becoming an online notary. Yes, ma'am. That is a possible, or sirs, hey, hey, pretty fellas, okay? Um, but there's possibly an opportunity in your state that you can be an online notary, okay? Technically, the term is remote online notary, and this is going to get very specific. So listen up. Let's get right into it. Okay, first of all, this video was brought to you by the 50-point checklist for the brand new business owner. So for those of you guys who have any business or a notary business, make sure you're checking in the description below. I have my 50-point checklist where it tells you how to set up your business, and it's going to do a 50-point checklist. Let's get right into this video. Okay, so what you need to know, okay, what do you need to know is that um, in order for you to be a register for to be online notary, you must one already be a notary in your state. Okay, then the second thing you need to know is that all states are not doing this. Specifically, I'm in the state of California. California is it's prohibited in the state of California to do online notary. However, don't leave. However, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Well, however, if you're in one of the states where it actually is either fully implemented or tempor temporarily uh, implemented for you to do online remote or remote or online notary, then definitely there's something for you. So in the description below, go down below. Um, the National Notary Association actually has a list, and I'll leave the link. I'll leave the link in the list. I'll leave the link in the description below. So make sure you go underneath the video and you check if your state is allowing for you to become an online notary. Now, what do you need to get in order to be a notary? So number one, you already need to be a notary. So you're gonna need to have your basic notary agent certificate, okay? You, ma you, can, um, you may already have this, or you can go to the um, NNA, the, uh, the National Notary um, Association, um, and you can go ahead and get your basic notary agent certificate. The second thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a electronic seal and stamp. So for those of you guys who are already notaries, you know that you had to purchase your notary uh, your notary seal and stamp. But now they're asking you to go ahead and get an electronic version of your seal and stamp. Then the second thing you're going to need is you're going to need an electronic signature that's going to verify that you're the one notarizing in your state um, people's documents, right? So you can use places like Notarize, Notary Cam, and Signix right now notarize it's very popular for certain people however notarize only takes uh, they only service four states as of right now i believe it's florida nevada virginia and another state don't quote me i'll leave it in the i'll leave it in the description below but um those are the sites that you can get your electronic signature from because there are if you go to your state they should have recommended vendors for your electronic signature and one of these or none of these can be it but i'm just throwing out there some of the more popular ones which is notarize notary cam and signix and the thing that i really like about notarize for those of you guys who are in those states that notarize services the reason why i like notarize is because notarize already has its built-in notary meaning people can come random people can come on there and find you and you, that's how you can get business. So you have the opportunity with Notarize to, one, advertise your own notary business, and as well as you might get clients just from Notarize, okay? Um, the next thing you're gonna need is with your state, even though with your Secretary of State, you're already a registered notary. Um, for the states that approve this, you also are required to get a, a re, you, you're, you're required to register as an online notary right with your secretary of state and then of course the last thing is either you're going to either get get your bond and your surety or you're going to review your bond and your surety because um doing notaries online there's a certain amount that uh, your state may want you to have coverage for so if you have the proper coverage you're fine if you don't have enough coverage then you might want to raise your coverage just so that you can be in line with your state's um, recommendations or your state's requirements so of course, we know one of the big questions a lot of people are going to want to know is how much is this going to cost? Now, first thing first, you need to go and see if your state allows this, okay? But here's what it costs in the state of California and Nevada because I went and I did my research. So just to become a regular notary, uh, it's going to cost you $260 in Nevada. If you're in, New if you're in 
California, it's going to cost you $294. Your electronic seal and stamp can run you between $20 and $40. And, well, your seal and stamp is going to cost you between $20 and $40. Your electronic stamp can uh, run you um, up to $99 or more. And um, to, register with the sec to re register with the Secretary of State, for example, in the state of Nevada, is not uh, $50. But the overall point that I'm trying to make here, you guys, is that becoming an online notary, if you are already a notary, it's going to cost you some additional amount of monies. However, for those of you guys who are kind of like, well, you know what, in my state, it's not here yet. Well, just keep checking up for your state. And if you have, if you're in a state where they're doing this temporarily, I definitely think it's something that you want to jump on now because you guys know where we currently are in the state of affairs with the United States and um, our pandemic. Many Many businesses are already online, so for those states who are actually um, temporarily doing remote online notary, I have a big, big feeling that they're going to all uh, pass legislative laws that are going to say that, that it is actually permanently a law for notaries to be done online. So what, what other better place for you to be as a notary other than ready, right? You want to be ready. So for those of you guys who are super interested in something like that, definitely check out the fees, check out the recommendations. Um, I'm going to, again, leave it in the, the description below for you to go ahead and um, go to the National Notary Association so you can get all of this information. You guys, I hope that this was helpful and I'll be talking to you guys later. Again, make sure you hashtag Pretty Gang in the comments. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.